Millions of years ago, these rocks formed at the bottom of the sea. As the seafloor slowly moved, it slid under the North American continent, which has left behind what is now known as the Marin Headlands. Many communities have called this place home, including Miwok Indians, Spanish and Mexican ranchers, and Portuguese dairy farmers. The American military then built fortifications to prevent enemies from entering the San Francisco Bay. You can still see examples of these structures sprinkled throughout the hills. The Marin Headlands is now part of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area, one of the most visited national parks in the United States. Home to many kinds of wildlife, you'll most likely see hawks and shorebirds, such as egrets, herons, and pelicans. One of the historic landmarks we'll visit is the Point Bonita Lighthouse. This lighthouse had the first fog signal on the west coast, and it is the only light in America that is reached by crossing a suspension bridge. Point Bonita Lighthouse is also the last manned lighthouse on the west coast. From the lighthouse, you'll see breathtaking views of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. As we head down to the lighthouse, be sure to stop and enjoy the view. On clear days, you'll see other well-known sites in San Francisco, including Alcatraz, the Presidio, Land's End, and Ocean Beach. When you head closer to the lighthouse, you may notice marine mammals called harbor seals in the water below. These black and white spotted creatures differ from their cousins, the noisy sea lions. Harbor seals prefer the quiet that is offered in the marine headlands, and they enjoy laying on the rocks or just bobbing up and down in the water. If you listen carefully, you can hear the distinct cough-like sounds they make with one another. As we head back up from the lighthouse, be sure to check out the red rocks, called Radiolarian Chert, and the gray rocks, called Pillow Basalt. Remember that the ground you are walking on once lived under the sea. We'll then hike over to Rodeo Beach. A lagoon is located here year-round, and in the winter, if there is enough rain, the lagoon breaks out into the ocean. Lagoons are a mixture of freshwater and saltwater, and are home to a variety of birds and fish. You'll notice that the sand at Rodeo Beach might be different than sand on other beaches. The more you look, the more you'll see all the colors of the rainbow reflected in the sand. We hope you're excited to visit the marine headlands.